Victorian fire authorities believe a bolt of lightning may have started a spectacular blaze today at a chemical storage site in Melbourne's Docklands. The fire sent a pall of toxic smoke over the city. Melbourne's emergency authorities consider the Coot Island chemical dump their number one problem spot. For years they've been rehearsing a disaster response plan. Today it was given effect. Just after two o'clock, tanks storing millions of litres of chemicals were blown apart like tin cans full of crackers. Within half an hour, 250 police, ambulance and fire crews were on the scene. They evacuated nearby homes, though luckily, winds blew smoke away from residential areas. Probably lucky today the wind was so strong because as the fumes went high into the air, they dissipated out with the wind being so strong. A quiet day may have been different. The smoke contained compounds of various chemicals used to make plastic. Anyone coming into contact was tonight advised to wash themselves thoroughly. Some of the chemicals may actually be carcinogenic, that is, cause cancer. But there's no reason to believe at this stage that anybody has been subjected to significant concentrations. As for the cause, well, the fire began after a brief and violent storm. A reliable witness reports an act of God. What appeared to be a bolt of lightning hitting one of the tanks in the tank farm, and there was a uh, rapid explosion following that bolt of lightning. The fire brigade will keep a watching brief tonight. Briefly now, another Australian news. The Prime Minister and the Treasurer have vigorously defended their new superannuation levy in Parliament today as the opposition claimed it could create 100,000 more unemployed. Representatives from all the medical colleges will meet in Canberra tomorrow to consider a national campaign against the budget changes to health care. Thousands of New South Wales public servants demonstrated today in defence of public sector jobs and services. And in finance news, the big Queensland mining group MIM has reported a huge drop in profit, just under $7 million, which is more than $268 million down on the previous year. Good local buying and Asian support helped the Australian share markets gain ground today. Lend-lease rose 45 cents. News Corporation rose 40. Pacific Dunlop 12. The market indicator was up more than 11 points, but the Australian dollar was steady. Now, let's take a look at tomorrow's national weather for you. Some showers expected for Hobart and for Adelaide. It should be mainly fine in Melbourne, fine in Canberra and Perth, and fine in Sydney and the other capital cities. And that's it from the National Newsroom. That's the news to this minute. There'll be a special update on the Soviet crisis at 7 tomorrow morning. Now, here's Kerry and Late Lines.